Uh-huh, I sure will. Uh, good morning, everybody. Y'all listening to The Voice. Come on, dig me now. One and only, Steve Harvey got a radio show. Man, oh man, oh man. How many times I got to say that before I get tired of it? Mm, I think it's going to be a minute, folks. I got to be real with you. Because, boy, that Steve Harvey got a radio show. Man, clear indication of how God can do some unexpected, wonderful things for you. How he leads your life in directions that you never, ever saw coming. You know, I was talking with somebody the other day, and they were talking about how, man, they were young and they were doing things, and they never knew that the things that they were doing as a youngster would come and and help, help form who they were today. As an adult, this guy's 50 years old. And, uh, you know, the same thing for you. If you look back on your life and all of the things that you've done, it helps shape you into who you are. Now, this is provided now that you take the positive approach. Now, when I say look back at your life and see what you've done, that doesn't mean dwell on the misfortunate moments because the misfortunate moments were necessary. I know it is hard to see that when it's happening to you, but the unfortunate moments are necessary. You know, what really makes you appreciate summer vacation is winter work. What really makes you appreciate a walk on the beach is when it's cold, it's raining outside. What really makes you appreciate when you're up is because you've been down. See, if you were up all the time, just the nature of us as human beings, we would lose our appreciation for it because it becomes K sera whatever it is, well, it is what it is. I'm just, uh, what, what, what? It be, you take it for granted, it becomes expected. But what happens in life is it has so many twists and turns, and then you learn how to deal with those twists and turns, which makes you now a more experienced person. And then when the sunny days come, man, you go, wow, it's really nice outside. You really want to appreciate how warm weather, just stay in a bunch of cold weather all the time. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, this is really, really simple and now loud analogies, but it helps you along the way. Now, here's what I came to say today to everybody out there, and this has helped me in my life. I can't tell you what it's done for me, but a lot of people are struggling with uh, moving forward with their future, their future plans, their future goals, their future aspirations, their future hopes, their future dreams just simply your future wants. 
a lot of people trying to have a hard time mapping out their future, even what I'm going to do, what I'm going to be, what I'm going to make, how I'm going to go about it, what do I do next. I want to share something with you that I had to come to terms with. The quickest way to lose focus on your future is to keep focusing on your past. You know, it's like I said at the beginning, you know, when I say it's, it's wonderful to look at your life and review it, because if you look at it, it'll tell you uh, it, it really helps shape and form you today as the person you are. Now, if you look at it in a positive sense, but if you dwell and harp on the negative that's happened to you, then that keeps you from seeing the good in the incident. Every bad thing that's happened to you, there was a silver lining behind it. I know people who were on drugs who finally, man, just got sent to prison for stealing because of their habit. I know a cat that sold dope. Well, he went to prison. He told me one time, he said, Steve, he said, man, this is the best thing ever happened to me. This saved my life. Now, most people would think, how in the world is going to prison helpful for you? The brother said, it saved my life. First of all, it got me clean. He said, I've been clean for five years from sitting in here. That's for starters, I'm clean. I ain't stealing no more. I ain't putting myself in jeopardy, and I ain't jeopardizing nobody else. He said, now, nah, man, I done went to college. I done got a college degree while I'm in here. Then he was released from prison, and the brother's life was completely turned around. He married. He got a family. He got a great job. He go to work every day. He's a productive citizen. I mean, so he looks back on his incarceration, even his drug abuse, and it taught him how to appreciate the things in life that he had taken for granted and was missing. Because he said, man, my life was just in a blur. I didn't even know what was going on. He said, now I appreciate every day I wake up. That's what I mean. Even in your missteps in life, there is a purpose for the missteps. Every time you fail, there was a reason for the failure. See, what I had to do was I had to learn that all of my failures taught me how to get back up. So I became a very strong and tough person in getting back up. And then I was down and out so long that it taught me how to really appreciate the up. And so I've taken all of that and used it, those experiences that happened to me, and I became a more experienced person. So next time when people talk about me who don't know me, it don't shake me because everybody's not going to like you, man. You might as well go and get on this train right now. And so what I'm saying to you out there is the quickest way to lose focus on your future is to keep focusing on your past. Let it go. Yeah, 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 he left. But like I told this lady on my TV show the other day, sometimes the breakup is the blessing. I know it's hard to break up because now you're lonely and you're by yourself. But, man, but weren't you in misery when you was in that? Weren't you in complete misery in that? Now, you kept asking God to fix it, but it takes two people to fix a relationship. It don't just take one. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. You really do have to have two people wanting a relationship to work. It can't just be one person wanting a relationship. So you can pray about the relationship all you want. If the other person don't want you no more and ain't going to act right, you can't make him do that. Or you can't make her do that. But you steady asking God for a new relationship, but you are yet to be grateful that you are in a position to have a relationship and you keep harping on the past. You don't think he hear that? I'm just a dude with a show, and I hear it all the time. Let it go. Go forward. It's over. You made it. He bought you through it. You survived it. Why are you dwelling on it and making it the cross around your neck when clearly he had removed it for you? Now, all you got to do is come on. So if you're sitting behind them walls, brothers and sisters, I'm talking directly to you. Sometimes, man, you just got to get it right. All this repeat offender business, that's for who is that for? How ignorant can you be to keep giving your life back to the penal system? Be free, man. Walk the streets. Do the right thing. Ask God to help connect you. He can do anything. You think he can't give you a job? Are you serious, man? Put some faith on it. Let's move forward, y'all. Let it go. Let's move. 
You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, everybody. It was a great plan. You called in sick on the second. You took off on the third. You had the fourth, <laughs> fifth, and sixth off. You were just staying up late watching TV, just having a damn good time. But it's Monday now. Ain't that right, Shirley? Strawberry. That is right. Good morning, Jay. We're back at it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Tell them about it, Carla Burrell. They got to hit it, baby. Woo, baby. You going to hit that snooze well, uh, about wait 10 Carla, times this that, morning. Wait a minute, Carla. That woo. Come on now. <laughs> What? What? I'm wooing too. My woo was off. Yeah, it was a little off. Your woo was off. Tell them about a color for real. Woo! Yes. There you go. That's it. Get your wounds. Get your wounds. Get your, get your wounds. wounds. Get your wounds. Get your wounds. Get your wounds. Get your wounds. There you go. There you go. All right, Junior, rub it in just a little bit because they got to go to work. Rub yeah. it in, Junior. Yeah, rub I know. Hey, this is what they said this morning. You ain't got to check and see if I'm at my cubicle. I'm here. <laughs> We're attitude, Junior. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, make a mad Tommy. Come I, on, I man. know damn well you ain't late this morning. This ain't the day to be late, buddy. You've been off for how long? Now, I was sick, dog. Uh, I was sick. Uh, oh, <laughs> come on, now. Uh-huh. It was oh, a great man. time to have off, man. It was great. Welcome yeah, back. Welcome you? back. I'm happy yeah. to be yeah. back. Good to be back, man. Yeah. I missed y'all. You, I, I missed and, you guys, too. Can I just too. say this? Stop mm. looking at the clock. It's Monday. Okay? No. Don't look at the clock. It, it is Monday. Yeah. It's Monday. <laughs> We've been gone too long. <laughs> exactly. You know. And you know what happens when you're gone too long. Ooh. You miss you, stuff. You, you miss start, stuff. And you start to forget. Yes. 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 <laughs> I forgot like, this morning I had a job. I got a job. I'm supposed to be somewhere. <laughs> sleep in? We, you don't get to sleep in anymore? You didn't wake up at 5 this morning and said, oh, damn, church complaints. Oh, my God. I had all week to write them and ain't wrong. I know, I know. Oh, my God. That but isn't great, it always great. the thing, though, when, when you get really relaxed, you grew in mm-hmm. that vacation it's, groove? Oh, it's time to go it's back. Time to go it's back. time to go Girl, back. Girl, I took chances back. this vacation. <laughs> what you do, Junior? Stuff I ain't supposed to do, like got in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it's cold. Yeah, it's but cold. I got in. You got, wait, wait, wait. In the ocean? All the way. In the ocean? In the Did ocean. Really? Oh, no. I took chances. What'd you have on? Oh, swim trunks and no shirt. <laughs> Perfect condition. <laughs> I had a ball. Mm. And you're here. I'm here, though. Praise the Lord. Yeah, praise oh, the Lord. Right. He let me have that yeah. ball. How far out did you go? I, oh, about ankle deep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. You can, get your, you can get your short yeah. run on. You can get out the water. Run. That's what it. Is, that's to your kneecap? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm right up there. That's okay. it. Ain't All no right. further. Well, I was in New Orleans, so I was hanging out in New Orleans with my sister and my niece. I'm telling you, it was some kind of hot down there. Oh, oh yeah. I bet different. it was. Was the streets packed, Jay? Oh, the streets was packed. It was 500,000 women and nine men. Nine. <laughs> I remember them days, no boy. Why do you have such a smile in your yeah. voice this morning, Jay? Uh-huh. <laughs> they ain't give his phone on the now one up. Oh, uh-huh. I never heard. No, I ain't get nobody. You can't separate nobody from the herd. That's what's wrong with me all together. From the herd. <laughs> I, I did... took the family to Honolulu. Oh, look at you. Oh, yeah. We had a Lulu. Look at you, you. Okay. <laughs> right, right. We, we Lulu. And I was just Come like I was just like Junior. I just right to the ankles. Mm-hmm. Ankle deep. Mm-hmm. That's, it. <laughs> That's it, though. Ankle deep. Everything else is in the pool, baby. Ocean is ankle deep. Ankle I had a house deep. guest, yeah. my best friend, and she cooked. Woo! Mm. Oh, coming I up. In, oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Coming up at 32 <laughs> after the hour, guys. We're going to find out um, uh, more about what we did over the July 4th weekend. That's coming up right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Well, <laughs> back to the 4th <laughs> of July fun. We Four? had some fun, wow. huh? Oh, yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Yeah. What would you do, Carla? Child, I went to the Bahamas, Mom. All That's right. how you do I it. Saw it. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, we, we saw you on the gram, Ooh, girl. Me, you, and Junior's yes. ocean nights. <laughs> We've been to the ocean. Yes. <laughs> see, I ocean envy news. y'all to go to the ocean. I envy y'all because, see, once what? I come out the ocean, there's a certain level of ash that's unbelievable. Once I come out, I can't do that. <laughs> Is I can't. that A S H? Ash. Yes. 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 Yeah. How was it, Carl? Adjust it was wonderful. Headphones. The weather That's was good. it was hot. It was beautiful. Yeah. We had a good time. Big news. My husband said he can float in the ocean now. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. okay. Right. Let me. Oh, exactly. Y'all think y'all oh. sharing too Keep much. On, Keep on here. Keep on. I'm just saying. Hey, Ferals, we felt like we couldn't float. <laughs> no. okay. All right. The Bahamas is where they shoot Shark Week. I'm just letting you know. I'm telling you. I know. I know. I'm just letting you know. So let me tell you what Tasha did. She went what on the that. What baby you, do? 
you know, they have that a uh, water slide aqua venture ride where you can mm-hmm. go down, but if you get on like a little float, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you float over through the sharks through the, in the yeah aquarium. over yeah, you so, yeah. Oh, oh wow yeah. he did oh, that that's, yeah Tasha did did that Ooh, yeah. that's, that's that's a different. brave little soldier right there brave, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 it sounds like yeah, it was was did you slide Carla you ain't slide. Uh uh-uh, uh, I told her go ahead. <laughs> you didn't you do let the... the baby go by herself. <laughs> you let the baby go take the picture, sure. <laughs> you didn't do the leap of faith. You're supposed to do the leap of faith, the, the big one that goes straight down. Uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh. No, what? I did not do that. No, yeah, but that's... I did get in the, the ocean and the water. Hey, 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 baby steps. Ain't nobody doing all that. Uh, yeah, you don't push yourself. And you did the lazy river, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. We had a good time. Okay. That's fine. All right. That's fine. Okay. Good. Yeah, good. and I gambled. Yeah. Well, okay. of course. Oh, did you yeah. win? Did you win anything? No, I was very upset. <laughs> yeah. Very, very. In the words of Steve, I was very, very, very upset. I was out in the hot sun down in New Orleans with a whole bunch of stuff to come back and tell Steve. So when I see him, I tell him. <laughs> right, right. You got a lot of messages. Did, did people recognize you down there, Jay? Yeah, a lot of people. They love the show. They love that. They, a lot. My sister calls you that strawberry lady, so she loves you, Shirley. She calls you that strawberry lady. Tell her thank you. I love her, too. <laughs> nice. I had a good time down there uh-huh. with my family, man. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. great. It was hot, hot, hot. Oh, my God. You know what? I ain't gonna uh, lie. This is the first time, 4th of July, I actually didn't eat barbecue. Oh, you did? Oh, you did. I, you did. I mean, I was in Hawaii. Was I didn't eat barbecue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. Yeah. I have a confession. Yeah. Hmm. I have a confession. Hmm. What is it, Shay? I have a confession. I need to... What I ate it? some chicken. Thank you. It's Come about on, time. Home, man. You, it's on, about welcome. time. You're no longer a vegan? Welcome. I'm back. I'm back on vegan, but I had, it was so damn good. How was it? Yeah, it was so damn good. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it great? Because, Jay, that's the one thing that's he it. talks about. He misses chicken so much that's on it. his vegan oh, diet. Was you crying as you was eating? I was crying to people. I could tell. <laughs> Did you lick your the fingers? Cook, the cook came out and hugged me. He said, it's going to be all right, man. Don't worry. Yeah, I had a moment. Yeah, I got some moment. mo in the back. Do you need some therapy? <laughs> <laughs> Did you lick your fingers though? Fingers, elbow, yeah. shoulder. <laughs> oh, How many man. pieces did you have? Yeah, you Jay? gotta enjow your life. I had four pieces. That's what I'm talking I'm about. Oh, you're gonna do it, go on and do it, partner. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now you like the thighs, right? You're a thigh man too. I'm a thigh oh, man. Oh, I'm a breast I'm a breast and thigh man. Every uh-huh. night. It, yeah, when How I was, can you be breast and thighs? You well, either leg right. and thighs. <laughs> Leg yeah, and dark, white or dark meat. Yeah, yeah you don't, yeah, you yeah. don't cross over like that. Well, see, man, when I was really eating chicken, every night I go to sleep with two breasts and two thighs in my life. Don't nobody cross their chicken like that. Tommy's offended, Jay. I, see. I know. Don't nobody don't do like white the way meat. I eat chicken. You don't do white meat, dark oh. meat together. Oh man. If you want to. Oh. But you know what? I'm really into legs now. I'm into yeah, legs okay. again. I yeah. loved them when I was a kid, and then I stopped yeah. altogether because you heard about dark meat wasn't good, mm-hmm. you know, eat the white meat and all that. Man. So I, I we, eat the you know legs what? now. I only eat legs We have got to breasts. stop this. Even the dark meat can't win. I be damned. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I do it too, Tommy. I just realized what? that. I eat legs and breasts. That's, oh, oh. Are you crossing? Y'all going to quit crossing this chick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, uh, I tell you, y'all gotta know how chicken work. I'm a chicken person, Carla. Yeah. You know, I know chicken. Well, I know. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you like like Chick Fil A chicken. They different. Uh-huh. It's kind of like it's kind of like they. It's like that chicken like really had they real mom and daddy. You know what but I mean? you gotta that, say, Tommy. You gotta say they real you gotta mom think and daddy. Whoever the them. guy was, whoever the guy was to put a pickle on a piece of chicken. That's the most amazing thing <laughs> ever, man. That is <laughs> genius. <laughs> genius. Oh, no man. Nobel Peace Prize. Did anybody see any fights over the holidays? Oh. Mm, anybody? The what? Uh, no. Any fight? What? No. Family no. members? Yeah, or family something? member at the barbecue. Oh, oh, at the bar- anybody? No, 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 I saw a Hawaiian saw couple arguing. That's that's about. That's all oh I man, saw. I saw a fight at the barbecue. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. What well, care your life, <laughs> man? Yeah, at the at the house next door, not ours, okay. but. Four people that were 70 years old swinging, uh-huh. but everybody missing. Were they what? drunk? <laughs> what? I don't know what the fight was about, but obviously somebody tried to holler somebody's wife, and they wasn't happy. Oh. And when you see four 70 year olds fight, they didn't uh-huh. land a punch. They was How long was the fight, Junior? How long was the fight? About 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know how long that was to yeah. them? 
But but they were saying it. like Calvin, go get my Geritol. They was just <laughs> you wait till I get my insulin. I mean they was out there really fighting. I, I love did it. nobody land the punch. Wow. Uh, no, wow. Punch no, nobody was yeah. I'm, I'm not taking a plate out this raggedy so and so. I said, Oh, this is good. Oh, is that what it was about? Yeah, I don't know what it was about. Was it about taking a plate? All I know is it didn't bring nothing. I just heard nothing. that you tried to holler at my husband and then she swung on the two women started then the two husbands. Oh, yeah. What? Man. That's not good. That ain't supposed to be an example for the kids out there. But not if you're trying to hit on my man. Now, I yeah. don't know what no. they were like, but In it front was, of me. Yeah. It was so That's funny. brown liquor right there. That's, that 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 that's brown liquor. That was, it meant the domino table got turned Oh, over. yeah. That's oh, it was all there, it was bad. Brown liquor there's and no, heat. There's no age <laughs> limit on that, uh, Junior. <laughs> all right. Uh, listen, coming up next, Reverend Adnoy, Dick and Def Jam are yes. here. Uh, church complaints. We got to do it. Got to do it. Church complaints coming up. Before, oh, he's already gearing up. At uh, 44 after the hour, coming up right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, coming up at the top of the hour, entertainment news and a prayer of healing for the legend Stevie Wonder. Uh, Stevie uh. is going to undergo a kidney transplant coming up in September. But first, Reverend Adnoid, Dick and Def Jam are here with church complaints. All right. You tell me times I've heard that. Pay good money for it. Here it is. This is the jackpot (laughs) joined of Jerusalem. I am Deacon Death Jam, and along with me is Reverend Ad Noid. We will be giving you announcements as well as complaints this morning. All right? All right. All right. Explain who will be doing who, which will be doing who. I will be giving the complaints, and Ad Noid will be giving the announcements as soon as he do something about his nasal situation. I, There's nothing wrong with it. I'm, this is a good day. This is as clear as it's going to get. This wow. Is, that's amazing. That's that it. don't sound congested to me. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. <laughs> you just got to let it go because we say that. I, I know it. I know it. But let yeah. me tell you what's going on. We have an issue here. People who are missing a side tooth, we would like for you to uh-uh. forget. Please praise the Lord with your mouth closed. You are scaring members who have all their teeth. Please. Those that are missing side teeth. Please. Two in the back? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all wrong for that. <laughs> two, on the t- two on the top and two in the back. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> I can't tell I've seen it. You open your mouth so wide when you praise him, okay? Yeah. That's all we say. Yeah. Go ahead at night. Uh, here we go, all right? <laughs> what was that? Here we go. I don't know. I was, was that a breath? That was just... No, that, 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 was, that was just laughing. I was, it was funny. It was hilarious. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, the strip club Ooh. known as the Bent Pole will be closed over the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> over the, over the, the next pole. few weeks. The Bent Pole will be closed <laughs> over the next few days for reconstruction and to straighten out that pole. All right, go right ahead. What, what, what happened at the pole? Wait a minute. Well, well, we've got a lot of thick strippers down there, so what we do is we have to close every six months to straighten that pole out, okay? So go. Well, just to uh, add to that, uh, let me piggyback you with what we have here. We're having a wide back t shirt fundraiser. <laughs> A wide back t shirt fundraiser. All wide backs, please work the booth this coming Sunday. Um, we will call all wide backs out if you don't come forward, all right? Wide That's backs. Great. Why, you know who you are. You know like who you, you are. Know who you are. Don't make okay. us come up to you and see if you're coming, all right? Well, you Just show coming. up, yeah. And we don't have to pick you out. You should be there. Dennis. Wide back ministry. Thank you. Go ahead. There'll, there'll be a listening party right after service. Uh, oh. Deacon, two canes, two canes will be. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, got it. <laughs> two, two canes is, is releasing his album, his gospel album, and mm. uh, all of us this day after. Two canes, I two love it, canes. I love it. <laughs> All right. Love it, love it. Uh, We're starting an old-fashioned ass-whooping campaign. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but Sister Carla, you're going to understand when I get where I'm going. Uh, Mm. We're starting an old-fashioned ass-whooping campaign. Uh, Reverend, we feel James Evan ass-whooping is necessary (laughs) 
<laughs> for the young lady that licked the bluebell ice cream in the stove and then yes. put it back in the freezer. Mm. Yeah. All in yeah. favor for this campaign, say aye. Yes. Definitely her behind whooping. Yes. Yes. A, a, right, a religious ass whooping, if I might ask. I mean. <laughs> If you're interested in going, if you're interested in going, it's good to say it three times. If you're interested in going, <laughs> plenty of tickets for the hit gospel play while you come home every night smelling like sardines. It's a musical. <laughs> it's a musical. <laughs> plenty <of> tickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, go right ahead. Uh, go right members, ahead. members, members, please stop popping the fireworks. The 4th of July is over. Every time mm -hmm. y'all pop them, the markers start shooting in that direction. Y'all know him and Lil Randy have not made up. Please stop popping <laughs> the fireworks. <laughs> I'm just saying. Thank y'all. <laughs> the public service. That's yes. facts. Yes. That's what oh, my was. God. Oh, my God. We're having, we're having a look-alike contest. <laughs> The women who look like Lil Duval will meet in meeting room <laughs> with <fire. laughs> And live your best life. Yeah. Smile. And, and it's called living your best life if you'd like to participate. <laughs> the women that look like Lil Duval. <laughs> yes, Lord. Uh, yes, I ain't Lord. going back and forth with you people. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the baptismal pool will be out till October. We are uh -huh. renting it out wow. for parties to raise money for the singles ministry trip to Hedonism in Jamaica. What? If you want to get saved, you'll have to wait till October, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. What? Let's, yeah. you know, I'll Don't say it again. I end. will say it again. The <laughs> baptismal pool will be out of commission till October. We have rented it out for parties to raise money for the single ministry that are headed to hedonism in Jamaica. If you want to get and saved, you have to wait till October. Ah, I have, I, I have I'd like to piggyback on that baptismal pool announcement. We've also decided to heat the water up real damn hot. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. real hot. Yeah. To ensure shouting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <laughs> once you get in there, <laughs> it will be some shouting. Yeah. And that, yeah. and and let so me piggyback that. Up. It won't be lukewarm, okay? Piggybacking his piggyback? <laughs> It won't be lukewarm, all right? Just yeah. let that out. Go ahead. In other words, it will be bubbling, okay? <laughs> bubbling. <laughs> With just a toe. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, it's my turn. Go ahead. Uh -huh. I can't tell how many times I've heard that in pages. Uh -huh. All right. Now, since we've uh, gone down to just a sip of wine out the bottle, we've only used one bottle this month uh, in communion. So, everybody, please, thank you for that. Just sip, sip, pass it on. Sip, uh -uh. sip, pass it on. <laughs> no, thank you. And that's how it's supposed to go. Sip, sip, pass, pass. All right. Mm -hmm. Listen, me, uh, the third annual Gospel 5K Run, Walk, Limp Wheelchair Fundraiser. <laughs> what is that again? Uh, that's the third annual Gospel 5K Run, Walk, Limp Wheelchair <laughs> Fundraiser was terrible this past weekend. Uh, we started out with 300 entries. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. the 52 uh -huh. wheelchair pileup completely ruined everything. <laughs> no <laughs> one crossed the finish line. Uh -huh. <laughs> and why do, do you it again? keep having yeah. this? Can <laughs> so we do it again? Uh, yeah. We will have a fourth annual gospel <laughs> 5K run, walk, limp, wheelchair, <laughs> tricycle <laughs> fun <run. laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, oh, guys. Uh, thank you, uh, Deacon and uh, them, Reverend that was Adnoy. Good. Anytime, anytime. Uh, coming up at the top of the hour, we'll have some entertainment news for you right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, so Stevie Wonder, whom we love and adore. Um, yes, definitely. Yeah. Stevie Wonder says he, he has announced that he will undergo a kidney transplant coming this September, coming up in September. He made the announcement Saturday night while performing at the uh, BST Festival in London's Hyde Park. Uh, take a listen to this. So what's going to happen is this. I'm going to have surgery. I'm going to have a kidney transplant in September of this year. The Hall 
good, I'm all good, I'm all good. I have a donor, it's all good. I want you to know, I came here to give you my love. And to thank you for your love. You ain't got to hear no rumors about nothing. I told you what's up. I'm good. All right? All right. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Good spirit. Say, all right. Yeah. yeah. It's a great way to take an approach to it. You just tell people, let them know from you. Yeah. Then you don't hear from other people. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. And then his attitude, Jay, yeah, is, got is positive spirit. like yours. Got to have a good spirit. Yeah. Huh? An attitude about whatever it is you're going. Yeah. Stevie went on to say that he will only do three more shows before taking a break. So uh, I'm sure, yeah. you know, he needs to probably take a break and maybe, I don't know, yeah. prepare. Well, you know, if you've never yeah, seen a Stevie Wonder yeah, show, definitely. it is a must. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Man, it's yes. unbelievable, man. Legend. It is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. It is. Yeah. yeah. True yeah. legend. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, in other entertainment news, uh, we'll keep you posted, of course, on Stevie Wonder as we uh, get the news ourselves and other entertainment news and sad news out of Hollywood. Boy, I saw this young Disney star, Cameron Boyce, has passed away. Uh, He died unexpectedly at the age of just 20 20 years years old. old. 20. He died in his sleep on Saturday at his Los Angeles home. What's the call? After suffering a seizure uh, stemming from an undisclosed illness, he is survived by his parents and a sister. Now, this is according to E! News. A slew of celebrities are paying tribute to Cameron on social media. His co-stars from the Disney show, Jesse, included uh, Sky Jackson, Yara Shahidi, mm-hmm. and uh, Adam Sandler. Um, Cameron played his son in the movie Grown Ups and, and um, our oh, beloved oh. Wendy Raquel Robinson. Remember? Yeah. Now, yeah. I, do, I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about. Uh, Wendy Raquel Robinson, um, Cameron played her son in the Disney uh, Descendants movie. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I yeah. mean, so sad, though. Just 20 years old. Years old. Wow. Yeah. 20 just getting years. started, man. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. getting started. People are just talking yeah. about how talented he was and what a great person he was. And, yeah. you know, just yeah. so young. And my daughter was talking about, you know, her age group because they love Jesse. Man. Oh, yeah. So He's so they cute, were, too. My daughter was, they were upset Devastated, yesterday. I'm her sure. and her friends. And they mm-hmm. were talking about it on social media. And a lot of people don't know Cameron is biracial. Mm-hmm. His father is african-american so it it was just and he played wendy raquel's son, son you know yeah. in the mm-hmm. movie descendants when mm-hmm. so it's just man yeah at 20 years shame. old mm-hmm. 20 yeah. years old yeah wow yeah so um our condolences uh go out to his family and his the loved ones family. of course yeah yeah, yeah. All right. Also, in other entertainment news, uh, I, I'm sure you guys have heard about this story. You know the singing group um, that uh, was discovered by Beyonce, Chloe, and Hallie, yeah, the Bailey, the Bailey, yeah, yeah. the Bailey sisters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw them not too too long ago in Whole Foods. Uh, had I known what I know now, I would have congratulated them. But anyway, Hallie um, of Chloe and Hallie won the role of the Little Mermaid. Uh, she's going to play Ariel in the new yeah. movie. Oh, yeah. 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 So the congratulations. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, not the movie, but live. the live action. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So, adaptation. Right, yeah. so congratulations to Hallie. Uh, but it doesn't come without some negativity, I'm afraid, this news. Because people What's are upset. What's negative about that? People are upset that Hallie got it because Hallie is a person of color. She's a black girl, a black young lady, I should say, African-American. Okay. And so people are upset because they're saying the mermaid isn't black. Excuse me? Hold on. How Mermaids do you know? don't exist. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. What, what did they say, Shirley? They said what? <laughs> Mermaids aren't black. Wait a minute. So you're telling us that ain't no black mermaid <laughs> okay. nowhere in the ocean? That's where, that's where I am with it, white Junior. Mermaid. Yeah. I'm with you, Junior. If you spend that much time in the water, yeah. you got to darken up. Okay. I mean, come on. And then, oh, and then when you come out and you get in that sun, Jay, that's come black. On, you get nice yeah. and toasty. So, ain't come no on, black nice. man, mermaid's name Ariel nowhere. <laughs> oh. Right, Junior. Oh, my God. They, uh, they, well, you're going to yeah. be more upset yeah. when you find out Jesus black, too. You're going to have a hell of a problem then. Uh, yeah. I got another one. Hey, how about this? Elvis was black. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that yeah. upset them. But, I mean, come on. Such happy news yeah. for her. We, you know, we are way beyond this. Are yeah. any yeah. other mermaids yeah. upset? Oh, are the mermaids? <laughs> any mermaids upset? <laughs> 
Any can't. mermaids tripping time, they're not representing us right. I know. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe well, it's well, one thing about Mermaids it, matter. Mer- mermaid on. lives yeah. matter. Well, what about this? One Black thing about mermaid the mermaids, lives matter. The mermaids damn sure won't march. That's for damn sure. We're going to swim on this, though. <laughs> Hey, yeah, we are one. very, very proud. Even Halle Berry said, yeah. look at the Halle's right. doing things. I yes. love it. Yeah, she I was mean, into yeah. it. She was into yeah, it. Yeah. I know that everybody's congratulating her. And yeah. Halle Berry Halle. is a mermaid. <laughs> in your book. <laughs> oh, she in should, my no. book. She's everything to yeah. you. She is. I, I wish she didn't have no see, feet, huh, so she couldn't <laughs> run away. <laughs> I know a black Shirley, and I know a white Shirley. I can't believe it ain't no black Ariel nowhere in the water. <laughs> I know a black Shirley. I ain't never met a white Keisha. Thank you. Thank you. That's you know, how this goes. <laughs> I ain't never been a white key. <laughs> they got one. Trust me. All right. We got to get out of here. <laughs> All right. We'll be back at 20 after, guys. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right. Can we talk about Black Girl Magic for a moment here? Uh, let's talk about Wimbledon and the 15-year-old yes. sensation. Come on here. Coco Goff. Oh, how about goodness. it? How about it? The Williams sisters um, are her idols. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Did you guys mm-hmm. see what she accomplished in the last week and a half being Man. Ranked 313 to crushing, crushing, dominating at Wimbledon, including a victory over her idol, seven-time major champ Venus Williams. Yeah, that's wow, major man. for her yeah. life. Beating uh, Polona uh, Herzog too. Not to mention all of the uh, attention she's received, messages via social media from Mrs. Michelle Obama, Will and Jada's uh, son Jaden. Also uh, thrilled her the most. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, she was good. I saw her. I saw yeah. on social media when she got the uh, uh, tweet from or post from Jaden Smith. She almost fell out. <laughs> she oh, was I know that did it for her. Yeah, huh? that's where oh, she, she is. Oh my it. Yeah. yeah. Do you think the mermaid people are upset about this too? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> Man, she was. She was down. She was down against yeah, the, the other. Yes. Yeah. And it was the second yeah. set. I thought it was over. Yeah. I turned the. I thought it was over. I thought it was over. Yeah. And she came back. She Rallied came back. back, man. That was a grueling match. Yeah. Oh, I mean, very oh yeah. But it yeah. should be like that. I mean, seriously. Yeah. That, I guess you know, the it should lady. be. Yeah. 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 But then that she makes more like she didn't want to watch. Hand. Yeah. She That's didn't. Right. She did. Did you see that crowd? Yeah, it was a little shade. It was a little shade <laughs> in there. Shade. Yeah, but you was. know what? But she, After somebody whooped your ass, you really don't feel like shaking yeah. their hand. Not, <laughs> but, but in anything. Fifth, I was going to say, at 15 years old, whoo, yeah. whoo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But hey, look, come on, good sportsmanship. That, that little girl, real. that little girl, she was running rings yeah. around the older players. and It just lets you know when you're young and you come into the game mm-hmm. and you are you, you are prepared. Her father and her and mother And she put have, the time in to win. Man. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yesterday. think it's great she for tennis. I think it's really yeah, great Yeah, it really is. And how can you not be so strong if if the Williams sisters are your idols? Yeah, come on. See, that's where they messed up. They let them in. Now we got Sloane Stevens. Now we got Coco. Hit them in words, come. Yeah. We, and I oh, love we it. got rid of them. Here come two more. I be damned. And, and Stevens is doing good, too. Yeah, man. she is, too. You know, yes. she lost, but she is in there. See? Yeah. And can I just yeah. say, I love her name, Coco. Can I just say yes. that? Yes. so cute. Such a cute name. I, you know what I love? And watching her parents when they're in the stand and, they're, and uh-huh. they look and she pats her chest and they pat their chest from the heart. I uh-huh. love yeah. when they do that to that's each so other. Cool. And, and yeah. the dad yeah. is like, that's what I'm talking about. I yes. said, you better they, cheer I'm telling you, you better cheer your baby And you know, when your child is winning, you're supposed to get ignorant. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love Tell the it. coaches to those little league teams and all that, Jay, okay? <laughs> oh, well, not ignorant where we got to remove you yes. from the game. Oh, I've seen people removed. <laughs> yeah. I've been at a little league game where they make you leave. But wait, we're, we're, secretly, though, haven't we been waiting all this time for Carla one of these days at one, <laughs> oh, of, these, one oh, of these yeah. matches We're going we to get the in. memo. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, why am I looking around the room? Carla who? (laughs) All right, coming up at 34 after the hour, guys. NBA talk and USA women's soccer retain the World Cup. Yes, they do, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Yesterday, the U.S. women's national soccer team beat the Netherlands. Yes, they did. Yes, sir. Okay, say it again. Okay. We won. We beat the Netherlands to defend their title and, uh, 
take its fourth Women's World Cup. How about that? Congratulations, nice. guys. Oh, yeah. Let yeah. that money go, y'all. It's time to give them that money. Equal pace. Yes. Equal yes. pace. That's right. Yes, right, Junior. That's right. In the cup Equal final, pay. played in France, co-captain Megan Rapino landed a penalty kick an hour into the match. Rose Lavelle added a second goal eight minutes later, shortly after the – and she's a great goalie. Yes, she's the ball. She's, she's, she's a great goalie. And they won, baby. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Shortly yes. after the victory, New York City announced that the team would be celebrated in a parade on Wednesday. President nice. Trump, uh, who has made clear his anger at Megan Rapinoe's rejection of a White House visit, waited two hours to acknowledge the team's win. <laughs> Aww. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what was so He's good so about funny. it? She said He's she something. wasn't going long before, before they won. Before they won. And how did she say it? How did she say oh, it? Oh, oh, I got you. And in that case, you need a fresher, you know, like a refresher, uh-huh. Uh-huh. just a reminder of what Megan Rapinoe's remarks were about visiting the White House. Uh, let's just hear it, because we got it. I'm not going to the White House. One more time, one, one more time. time. I'm not going to the White House. <laughs> It yeah. sounds so nonchalant, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? That's one of them cuss words you hear. You go, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> if I could just take white out, I would use it. <laughs> Come on, time, Junior. <laughs> Come on, play it one more time. I'm not going to the white house. You put that in a song right there, Jack. There's some relatives I want to say that to. <laughs> oh, man. I love that. I yeah, love I think it. that's great. Yeah. I uh, think that's yeah. great. Yeah. For them, yeah. You think he was wanting the president wanted them? Oh, he definitely. wanted them to lose. Wanted them to lose. Trust me. Just because so? of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah he wanted them to lose. Yeah. yeah, he's that petty, huh, Tom? Yeah, yeah. he that petty. You know yeah. he said. Yeah. And what's, uh, what are you doing that it takes you two hours? Any other time, you tweet oh, right back. You're so you petty. Uh, you get Shelly, right on it. It huh. does take him that long to adjust them long ass ties. So <laughs> give me some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's well, covering up his girth, Jay. Right. They and say I was what? reading so, on social media, they were saying former President Barack Obama was waiting for this, you know, the current president, President Trump, to tweet mm-hmm. so he can tweet. Oh, I was like, he's yeah. a No, don't yeah. wait on him. I wouldn't have waited. Don't wait on him. I wouldn't have waited. You never wait now, on I him for good true, news. that's true, but that's what I was yeah. reading on social media. I wouldn't media. be waiting on him. Wow. Well, yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, you heard me Well, he had good to, for them. two hours to wait. Wow. And they're not coming down there to eat your little sandwiches and little... Finger food yeah. to be serving. Well, don't worry about it. He'll eat them himself. Don't worry about it. He don't need no help. And He'll get another, all that out himself. And get another long tie to cover it. Right. <laughs> another color. Yeah. That is so funny because you think you can't see that fat ass good with that long tie. Why don't you tie? widen your tie? Maybe that'll help you. You know what I'm saying? No, he'll look too much like a clown then, Tommy. Uh -uh. No, we can't risk that. Look like a cutting board. (laughs) But that's so big, though, for the world. It is. Congratulations. I'm so happy. But they played their butts off, though. 30 countries over a month of playing, man. I mean, in different Mm -hmm. uh, different places. Uh, That's Mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. And they get all their bonuses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Back to back. Yeah. Back to back. Yeah. They won last yeah. year. Yeah. So so right. was this good for you guys? I know how you are when, oh my God. when football season is over and basketball oh, and all that. So you oh. guys are good. Yeah, I watched yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I didn't this understand satisfied soccer, but I knew when that ball went in that net, I knew what that meant. Yeah, score. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> score. Because <laughs> well, I know you. how you guys are, you know. Yeah, at yeah. this time of the year. But uh-huh. you can't help respect but you, it. But when you're not in shape, you go, that's a lot of damn running. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you gotta respect it though, man. That's some. That's it's soccer is a. Re- that's that's like yeah. that's some some real athleticism. And it's, yeah. yeah, it's yes. it's really good for kids in school because everybody gets to play. I mean, more kids play mm-hmm. soccer in terms of like playing baseball and basketball. So yeah. a lot of kids get to play. That's why they. Yeah, in, yeah that's the world number one school. sport. Yeah, it is, it is the in world. the world. Yeah, yeah, it was it my is. it was mm-hmm. my daughter's favorite sport when she was coming up. She loved really? soccer. Yeah, oh, she loved yeah. soccer. Yeah. yeah. But one more time. What did she say? Can time. we just hear one more time? Yeah. Oh, oh Just give it one, one more time. time. Just give it one Come more on, time. Megan. Oh, Megan, repeat. I'm not going to the White House. Come on, Megan. I'm going to put that on my answer machine. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, in the first part. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when she blew it <laughs> loud. Yeah. When she blew it <laughs> Yeah, we go. We got plenty of places to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. If you guys want to comment, go to Steve Harvey FM on social media. Nephew is up next with the prank phone call coming up right after this. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> my ass. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's uh, my strawberry letter for today. The subject: This woman is making me nervous. Okay, mm. this woman is making me nervous. 
Right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? Well, you know, earlier, Jay told us that he had, you know, <laughs> some chicken. Backslid. Yeah. You yeah. know, he backslid, had four pieces yeah. of yeah. chicken. Yeah, he said, folks. You know, he said, you know, with a holiday, it's, it's, it's 4th of July. Yeah. He didn't got any of that chicken. He said he back on track now. Mm-hmm. And then, of mm-hmm. course, I don't know if y'all realize it, but this past Saturday was uh, National Fried Chicken Day. Did y'all know that? Yeah. No. I'm feeling a theme here. Yeah, you, you feel something coming, coming on? Coming on, yeah. You, you feel a chicken coming uh-huh. on? Uh-huh. I, 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 chicken, I, chicken, I know. You, can you smell it? Uh-huh. So this right here is BPE. Mm. TMC. What? B P E T M C. But tip, but tip, let me. B P E T M C. Too many consonants. What, what, the what, what, what is it? Baby? Black yeah. people <laughs> eat too, too much, much chicken. chicken. Oh, 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 no. what? You're so you. wrong. Black for people. That. <laughs> Eat too much chicken. Now, y'all know y'all ate some chicken this past weekend. <laughs> I know I did. So yeah. I'm finna run it for you here. And, here. and we get... Uh, and we what? Go ahead and say it before I run it. We what? get offended when white people offer us chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Such a I, double I, standard. I, I, I don't get offended. <laughs> <laughs> run it, cat. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Jason, please. This is Jason. Hi, Jason. My name is Remy. I'm calling with uh, BPE TMC. How's your day going? I'm doing fine, but what's a BT, whatever that is? BPE TMC, uh, it's an organization. We've been around for the last five years, and we're trying to help different things in the black community. And I wanted to reach out and give you a call and see if you would be on board or help signing a petition that we're going to have uh, going around with BPE TMC, if you don't mind. Okay, what is it about? Well, BPE TMC, uh, uh, Jason, is uh, black people eat too much chicken. And what we're trying to do is cut back hey, the shortage the of chicken. Black people eat too much chicken? Chicken? Who the hell is this? I'm, my, uh, my name. My name is Remy, sir. Okay, what you mean by black people eat too much chicken? What the well, what you, is, we've, we've, we've done a we've we've done a, uh, a a test study, and we realized, sir, that black people are the ones that are eating too much chicken. And what we want to do is try to cut back because right now there's a sh- the Chinese and ask them they eat all kinds of chicken, chicken food, young, all this sh- here. chicken. The white people eat chicken, probably gay. All this sh- here. chicken, chicken stir fried rice with chicken and all this thing. You want to come to me talking about a black person? Eat too much damn chicken? Did you ask the white people? I bet you ain't didn't know with no white folks. I bet you don't go to them. Y'all scared of them. Uh, well, sir, we're going we're gonna to get to that. We're starting in the black community. You Black people are the ones that seem to buy the most chicken. Man, no chicken. Guess what? I don't eat chicken. And if I did eat some chicken, I'd be cursing. Man, who the Are you big at something? you. You Hey, who, how in the y'all got my number in it? Where you get it sir, from? Actually, we're getting numbers from the supermarket, uh, and we're getting a listing of people hey, who buy the most. Supermarket, you get my number in no supermarket? Sir, what, right, the, the main thing we're trying to get you to do is cut back on eating chicken. Now, what Man, we want I you to do? I don't eat no chicken, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and eat some chicken, and don't call me with no about eating too much chicken. I don't even call my phone. Do you got that? Hello. Hello, I'm, I'm I'm trying to reach uh, Callaway. Is this Callaway? Yeah, yeah, it's Callaway. Who is this? Uh, how you doing? My name is Remy. I'm with BPE TMC. And, uh... Who? 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 My name is Remy, sir. I'm with BPE TMC. What we're doing is we have a petition we're trying to get signed throughout the black community uh, the, of some things that we're trying to actually help out in the black community. Uh-huh. So BPE TMC is actually an organization, and we're trying to actually uh, save some things in the black community. Oh, what's, what's B, what is that? What's that stand for? What the hell is that? BPE, what is that for? Uh, BPE TMC is, is uh, black people eat too much chicken. And what man. we're trying to do is get... <laughs> man, you got to be kidding me, man. Who is this, man? This is, this is Remy, sir. We're trying to get you all to actually sign a petition. What's going on is black people are buying too much chicken. Oh, uh, you got to be me with this man. Is this a white man? Who, the who is this man? I, I am Caucasian, sir. Yes. Now why are you calling me with this? Well, what we're really? trying to do is we're trying to get. How, how, how did you get my number? First of all, uh, actually, we get it. We're getting numbers from supermarkets that are letting us know man, the, you uh, the people that. Man, you get the off my phone with this man. Talk about some beef chicken, man. You get, boy, you gonna make me get out and smack one of y'all. What the f- with you? Okay, sir, what we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on buying chicken. Who's you guys? What the f*** are you talking about, you guys? 
Well, the black really? community is the black community. Not, sir, hey man, head. you better go on with that. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. Man, don't be calling my phone with that. Man. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach Valerie. Uh, uh, Val. This is she. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Remy. I'm with uh, BPE TMC. How you doing? I'm doing fine. And you? I'm very well, ma'am. Listen, what we're trying to do is, uh, if I take a little bit of your time, we're trying to actually get a um, survey signed by people in the black community. We're actually trying to help out in the black community. The organization is BPE TMC, and what this is is black what is people that? What, what is that? Uh, that's, that's black people eat too much chicken. So what we're doing is we're trying to get black people uh, do what? Black, say black say that one more time for me. Black people eat too much chicken. You see, there's been a shortage in chicken. So what we're trying to do is get black there's people to cut back. There's been a shortage in chicken, and you want to do a survey? Well, we want what we want you guys to do is sign a petition that you're not going to eat any more chicken this year. That doesn't even make sense. We just don't eat chicken. You know, we eat beef, we eat steak, we eat fish. I don't see you trying to pull that off the market. Now, why would uh, you want to tell us not to um, to eat chicken and we eat other stuff, too? Where are you okay, getting your deep well, findings well, from? Because this doesn't the, make the, any the, sense. The test study, man, was over chicken, and it just seems like that. So who that, did the uh, test study? Who did this test study? Well, we did, man. We're BPE TMC, and what, what, after doing the test study, we did realize that the the, the black people are the ones well, that are eating. What's the test? Food. Only just directed to black people. I mean, did you use white people? Because white people eat chicken too. Did you guys have no diets and stuff? Okay, man. Well, that, did that, you that, use that, Asians? Uh, what about the Hispanics? Did you use them? Okay, ma'am, listen, What the, the the bottom line is our first study is black people, and what we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on eating. No, chicken. your study should be everybody. This is some <laughs> Where'd you get my number from? Ma'am, we got to, we got numbers from the supermarkets of uh, people that you buy You didn't get my food. number from no supermarket, because I didn't get my number to no supermarket. This just don't make any damn sense. You calling me, interrupting me about some <laughs> like this. This is this, well, this is. Bottom line, ma'am, you're chicken, not cooking You don't chicken. tell me, you're not calling cooking. me, telling me what the hell I can't eat. You know, my you're mind, you chicken. got life you and it. twisted, sir. Yes, you do. You're life listen. twisted. Calling somebody, telling them that black people eat too much chicken. You and your partition. Would you like to hear what the survey is actually saying? No, I don't want to hear what the survey is actually saying, because what you're saying is about a whole bunch of But the survey is saying that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie, this is nephew Tommy, baby, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. God! Oh God! Come on, Tommy, I love me some chicken. Anybody want some chicken? Yeah, don't have well, not after no, that. I'm, I'm going to have some You, you know you have eaten a lot of chicken when you sit there and all those bones are all around and you go, this is ridiculous. This is not <laughs> right. <laughs> it is if you just can't, you. If you can't put that flat wing in your mouth and pull it out naked, it's, uh, you're not really a chicken eater. Now, that's you know? living right there. If you, yeah, I'm talking, that's living that's right living there. That's living your best life. Yes. Okay. Yes. That you, flat you, piece. You, you can't. You're right. Because I'm all if, about if the flats. That, <laughs> if you can eat that drumstick and then take that little other part and make a toothpick out of it, you are not a real <laughs> yeah. chicken. Yeah. You're a rookie. You're an amateur. Yeah. You got to be able to get the gristle off that leg. Come on. At the top. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that knuckle. That, that knuckle, knuckle at yeah. the top. If you can yeah, separate that, knuckle, that from yeah. the bone, <laughs> oh, you doing something then. Yeah. If you have never let the wishbone set up and dry so you can take make a wish, you're not a chicken eater. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nope. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, nephew. Listen, coming up next, it is the strawberry letter. The subject, this woman is making me nervous. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And listen, if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please, please, please submit your Strawberry Letter to Steve Harvey FM and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right now, right here. here Buckle up. Hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, the Strawberry Letter. Subject, this woman is making me nervous. Dear Stephen Shirley, I am a 32-year-old man, and my wife and I have been married for four years. Our marriage got off to a rough start, and we separated for a short period of time in the beginning. Right after we separated, I met a chick with the body of a goddess and ended up having an affair with her for two months. 
I got bored with just having sex and no real connection with this chick. So I told her I was going back to work things out with my wife. She got very upset and told me that her ultimate plan was to take me from my wife. That scared me. That scared the mess out of me. And I told her that my wife was irreplaceable. That was three years ago. My wife and I worked out the kinks in our marriage, and we're truly happy now. I felt it, un I felt it was unnecessary to tell my wife about the affair, so I never did. Fast forward to my company's annual employee appreciation cookout that my wife and I look forward to attending each year. We always sit with my teammates from work who have actually become good friends of mine. A group of us were sitting together eating when one of our teammates walked up. I almost choked. <laughs> mm. <coughs> mm. He was with the chick that I had had the affair with. Me and the chick played it off when he introduced her, but she kept giving me nasty looks when as we sat there. The first chance she got to be alone with me, she told me that she fell in love with me and she's still not over me. She asked me how I would feel if my wife was hurt the way she was. She told me that I never should have chosen my wife over her. I was speechless. Since that day, I've been worried about what she might do. I think I should tell my coworker that he's dating a chick I slept with and she's crazy. I also thought I ought to tell my wife about the affair before this gets out of hand. This chick has made me so nervous. What should I do? Please help. Well, no doubt about it, a uh, side chick, hmm, she got what she came there for. That's for sure. She came to make you nervous, all right? That's why you're nervous. That's what she wanted to do. She came there to scare you. She came there to make you think about her and make you think about what she might do, all of that. Maybe to make you call her, maybe to make you text her. She came to do all that. Is she stalking you? Yes. And and it's amazing you guys have been broken up for, for three years. She She's stalking you, and yes, she is crazy. About telling your coworker, I wouldn't do that. He doesn't need to know your business, and she's probably already told him anyway. Who knows, or she will eventually. Now, here's the issue, and the guys are probably going to disagree with me on this, but I think this is an extenuating circumstance here because she might just do something crazy, and you don't want your wife to be caught off guard, okay? You and your wife were separated. You were broken up. You guys were broken up. Um, so you can you can say that you dated. Wait you don't have to you don't have to tell her the extent of it. I know you guys aren't going to agree with no. me. But if you're no. I know you're not. But if your <laughs> wife finds out any other kind of way, you're gonna be in trouble, mister, for real. Um, you know, you're gonna have to sit your wife down and tell her uh what happened. You may not tell her the extent extent of it you can tell her that it wasn't anything you guys you know just had a little fling while you guys were separated you were separated you're so happy now that you've worked things out and that you're in a much happier place and you guys want to present yourselves as, as a unit and not divided on this issue you came to her you told her i mean sometimes you know it'll work out in your favor some women are mature enough to handle it. The key thing is you were broken up, okay? I just don't want this woman to do something crazy because it looks like she is. She's giving you dirty looks at, at, at the picnic, at the company outing. What if your wife had seen that? You know, you got to think about those things. All right, that is my answer. I think you really need to say something to your wife. I do. Mm -hmm. All right, Junior, come on. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. No, no. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he know it yet. Uh huh. But he's back in an affair. Hello. See, hello. We three men on this show hmm. have dealt with crazy women. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the crazy line that I saw, she asked me how I would feel if my wife was hurt the way she was. That means she plans on being back in an affair. That's mm -hmm. what she plans on doing. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. I, I think that he needs to just go ahead, get some dates with her before she busts your window. See, see, go on, go to the movies. Go on, go to the movies. Before she knock on that door. No, sir. Mm. Okay. That, this is what he has to do to protect his wife, Shirley. You haven't dealt with the crazy woman before. Come on, woman. We have. I've been the crazy woman before. Well, that's okay? what we have to do. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I know this, 
But I'm just saying, this is what he has to do. She, he has to go back out with this woman to save his marriage. At least till they move. Or until they get into the women's protection program. So he has to move and get into the, <laughs> the women's no. protection program? No. That's what he has to do. Because she's not going nowhere. Sometimes lies do not pay off, Junior. Oh, yes, they no, do. No, they don't. Oh, yes, they no, do. No, they don't. Oh, yes, no, they, they do. Don't. Oh, they no, they do. don't. Yeah, we're going to uh, do. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> don't sit back with your arms oh, folded. Oh, let's go get petty. Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> You, what he can't do is tell that woman the truth. The truth. <laughs> All right, uh, Jay, we want to hear from you as well. Junior says he's going to have to uh, get some dates with this woman. I say he needs to uh, f- figure out a way to tell his wife Why because this woman tell? is crazy. Tell I, I, need, I need to tell him what he's dealing with. So, yeah, uh-huh. so when we come back, yeah. So, <laughs> so when we come back at 23 after the hour for part two of the strawberry letter, Jay is going to tell him what he's dealing with. And that <laughs> the subject of today's strawberry letter, this woman is making me nervous. <laughs> we'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, let's recap today's strawberry letter. Recap, subject, Shirley, recap. yeah, subject, this woman <laughs> is making me nervous. 32-year-old man wrote, us, wrote in. Uh, he and his wife have been married for four years. Their marriage got off in the beginning to a very rough start, so they separated for a short period of time in the beginning. But right after they separated, the husband had an affair for for uh, uh, two months with mm-hmm. we, who we now know is a crazy woman. All right, her plan was to take him from the wife. His plan was uh, to go back to his wife. His job had a company outing. He took his wife. One of his coworkers brought his ex in. This is three years later now. And she's still not over him, the crazy uh, ex, side chick. She's giving him dirty looks at the party. They didn't act like they knew each other each other when they were introduced. But now she's giving him crazy looks and, you know, and all of this. And she asked him, how would your wife feel if she was hurt the way you hurt me? So Junior says he needs to get back into an affair with her. Yeah. So now, Jay, to you're save up. his wife. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't leave that part off. You try to twist my words. Which is insane. And, Jay, we need to hear from you, and then we'll hear from Crazy Man. Okay, first of all, we got to break this letter down, and we can find out what type of guy this is. We've, we've already determined that he's an older gentleman by the fact that he used the phrase chick about five That's times. old school right there. He's That's 32. Right there. Yeah. He's 32, No, no, he's, he's old school. Sound he's 52. Thinking. He's old school. He's old school. And he could be lying about his age. He's old school in his thinking. Here's what he has to do. She has done the damage she wants to do, which is to put fear in your heart that she might do something just by showing up. Now she got you on it. Huh? She got you on it. What? Who? Who's that? Who, who's outside? Who's at the door? So here's what you need to do to prepare yourself. She's crazy. And the best sex you ever going to get is going to come from a crazy person. Boy, you better talk man up in here. Woman. All men say man that. Man or woman. Oh, man good. or woman. The craziest. But what you got to do is, I don't know what type of car you have, but you need to get one just like it. Just like it. You need to destroy this car. Break out the windows. Flatten the tires. Mark it up. Right? asshole on the side and park this in front of your house so when she shows up have you lost your entire mind when she shows up she thinks that the damage she thinks your wife knows and has found out and has destroyed your car so she can't do a damn thing so your good car is in the garage. You see what I'm thinking, Tommy? You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your okay. good car is in the garage, and you're <laughs> safe from the crazy woman. All it, these it ignorant, elaborate <laughs> plots, Junior saying, go. He can <laughs> last but not least. Last <laughs> but not least. Let me, I got to close oh, up you got to close? Uh-huh. Men, men, don't ever fall for this line right here. Just tell me the truth. I won't get mad. Don't ever fall for that, okay? <laughs> and when a lady tells you that, do not listen to that. Jay. When she says, Earl, just tell me the truth. I won't get mad. Jay. You have got to lie your ass off right there. Jay, I'm with you when you're right. <laughs> I'm with you when you're right because we will get mad. But I still think he needs to tell. All right, nephew, uh-uh. it's, it's your turn. Uh-uh. You're up next. All right. <laughs> It's some thing, I mean, after reading all of it, it's it's just plain and simple. You got booty duty. <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. You got booty duty.
booty. Sometimes yeah. you mm -hmm. got to fix booty problems. And you have cre you, you created a problem when you started. You got booty duty now. What's going to make her happy right now? Some more <laughs> of you. You got booty duty. In the words of Shab, it's your duty to please that booty. All right? That's what there Shab are, said. There, there are some things in, in my ignorant. life. Guess what? It's some things I don't want to do, but I got to do. You've I got, got to, to do, do it. it. All got right. To do it. Got to be done. I, I, I don't want to have sex once once, once a week, but I got to because that's all I'm stuck with. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I'm stuck with. It's the things you don't. It's booty you know, duty. It's booty duty. You understand booty what I'm saying? Duty. I, I want to pay. I, I, I wish that's I could just pay much. half my mortgage. I wish I could do that. I got mm. to pay all of it. I got mm. to do Why it. Why you got to do it? I got to do it. Because, damn it, I got to do it. Booty. It's my mm. duty to do it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I don't want to take my no, kids to understand. Disneyland <laughs> every every summer, but I got yeah. to. It's my duty. <laughs> all right? Kids. That's daddy duty. <laughs> but this duty. right here is booty duty. Booty. You understand? Mm -hmm. in, in order to have peace in your house, yes. you got mm -hmm. to tap that peace outside. Yes. You got to do it. And sometimes, let me tell you something. What bothers me is when people don't see a booty blessing. <laughs> you don't see a booty. You. Do you not see a booty blessing when it's that? Yeah. She's drop dead gorgeous. She fine as all get out. You yeah. understand? Yeah. And you got your wife. What is you complaining and about? And the side chick won't you. Yes. You oh my God. He's crazy. A problem by not hitting that booty. Yeah. He's crazy and out to destroy yeah. his marriage. <laughs> you don't get booty, dude. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, thank you, guys, I think. Uh, listen, uh, Girl, you can email that? us or Instagram us your thoughts on today's it's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey F. <laughs> or at Steve Harvey FM. Or please check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand. Booty. Now, coming up at 46 booty, booty. after the hour, uh, NBA talk, and uh, we're going to talk about free agency, too. Ooh, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, come on, Junior, let's go. NBA oh. talk, free agency? Oh, free agency come was on. crazy. Boy, what happened, Dog, man? Dog, it was crazy. I didn't get to watch much TV. Oh, okay, man. Over the Listen, holiday. Man, we, first, first couple days, wasn't nothing happening. Okay. We right. didn't know what nobody was going. <laughs> wasn't nobody doing nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, Kevin Durant says, I'm gone. And he mm -hmm. left Golden and State. Went, he left Golden State and went to the Nets. And guess really? who followed suit? Junior? Who? How much did he get? Oh, he got a max deal. It's about like 194 million. 194 what? million? And he, he got a, wait, wait, 194 and he not even playing next year? He ain't playing. Can I just ask one question, Junior? Yeah. He got $194 million and he got one damn good foot. I don't understand how this <laughs> works. Because when he get back. They still gonna be there. One ninety four with no edge up though. That's what I'm that, talking about. No, no, don't even need it. Don't need it. Don't, and you got one hundred ninety four million. Would you trim your beard? I, hell no. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. No, exactly. if, if no who a, follows if him? If you got one hundred ninety four, can he spend say seventy dollars in brushes? Can we do that? <laughs> Did <you> get that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but right behind him, man, Kyrie Irving signed too, man. So that's uh, 18. They going that's, to they're going to Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, because you know, you know, Boston helped Kyrie. Lee. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the you players. Don't be here. Yeah, yeah, the players didn't want him there. Ooh. They didn't want him leave nothing. They're like, Kyrie, you left a shoe. You know, they, <laughs> they helped him. Get, get all out of, your stuff get out. Get all here. your stuff out so of So he with Jay-Z now. They with Jay-Z now. Yeah, they going down there to Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But all then right. Kimball Walker went and signed up in Boston. Now he done left Charlotte and went all the way up to Boston. So he replaces Kyrie. But okay. then it get good though. What? Come on, what come, on, come, on. Really get good. come on. Come on with it, man. Oh, man, your boy. Oh. Kawhi Leonard. Yes. yes. He not going back to the north. Uh-uh, to the north. He's not <laughs> going back to the north. He's going to the Clippers. Woo. But, wow. LA? But guess, yes. but guess what happened after that? What? Paul George going to the Clippers, too. Woo! The Clippers so got a squad. Oh, but, but the Clippers got um um I'm Lou Harvey Williams. Houston. No, the point guard. Patrick Beverly. 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 Yeah. Uh, oh no, they got a squad. They man. stack now. Oh no, they got a squad though. They is ready. <laughs> and all the all, but you know your boy Demarcus Cousins. Mm -hmm. He went down to the Lakers. He did. He signed with like so now the Lakers got. Is that a good move? Yeah, well, I think that's gonna be that's pretty good, good for him. That's gonna be good uh -huh. for the Lakers. You know, I think it's pretty good. So the Lakers have. The, the Lakers have. LeBron. LeBron. You know. 
Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. Davis. Brown. Yeah, you. Unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Unibrow. laughs> and and like your boy, the Barkers cousin. So I think they got a nice solid core right there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it's just amazing that Kyrie did not go back. in the last five, six no, games? No, in the last three. <laughs> but L.A. is back in the game, and though. Back. Both teams. Oh, they back. Yeah. yeah, L.A. is on the map. Yeah. yeah. Coming up at the top of the hour, we're going to talk about old school summer fun. Oh, old yes. school summer fun. Oh, I got that for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Coming up right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, we're going to talk about old school summer fun. Oh, stuff man. that stuff that we used to do as kids, and the kids today have no idea that we Before used to do. Before we had toys. Yeah, yeah. This, yes, yes, this was yes. just fun we stuff made, to do. Uh, made yeah. fun. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Like, remember when your neighbors on your block were watering their grass? Even your parents. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever run through Better the sprinklers? Run through oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Better run through them. Oh, that was and so And don't much let fun. three, four houses in one block oh, you all have their sprinklers uh-huh. on. Oh, yeah. wow, this is a real day. Yeah. This that was, was before anybody had swimming trunks. You just out there in your drawers. <laughs> <out there. laughs> Stupid. Or, Jay, or if you lived if you lived in an area that had ditches, mm-hmm. you would yes. you would clog you up the, the ditches. Uh-huh. Yeah. You yeah. would you yeah. would fill it up yeah. with water, and that mm-hmm. was your pool. Oh yeah, yeah, you played in the Summer, day. Summertime fun. Summertime, man. baby. Oh, how about this we one? How about this one? Yeah, not in Chicago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I don't know if y'all what? lived in an area where you had a window fan, but you get close up to that window fan. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you put your lips or you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or, or how about this? Yes, Jay. Right. Or how about this? Did you know right. that when you was a kid, playing was your job? So all you had to yeah. get out, grab yeah. up a house yeah. at nine, and don't come back till after That's five. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You couldn't get back in the house. That's right. And you drank water the room, from the water hose. From the water yes. hose. Yes. yes. The Even room I did my that. Mama had, the yes. only way you could get back in the house was if somebody was bleeding or dead. Don't That's come, back, don't come back in that house till after five. You couldn't what get back in there. Speaking of water, what about water balloons? Remember balloons? That was fun. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. fun. That was fun. Oh, that was oh, fun. That was fun. We used to, oh. we used to do, we was ignorant. Though. We jumped off the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, we oh, would yeah. jump off the house. Boys. Yeah. Did boys. Anybody, Who did that? Did anybody? Boys. 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 Yeah. Um, like, yeah, you used to find old that. mattresses that used to be out on trash day. Yeah. You used them for mm-hmm. trampoline like you was in the Olympics. <laughs> 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 That's how you learn to flip. <laughs> now, now, if it's raining, then I would uh-huh. be on the porch with my sister and we'd be playing jacks. If it was oh, raining. I don't, I don't know where you live where you could play because Annie Lee Brown, like you, if it's raining, you got to sit your ass down somewhere. <laughs> because the what? Because the Lord is doing yeah. his work. That's right. Yeah. My mom yeah. was like that until the day she passed away mm. when it was yeah, thunderstorming. Yeah. I'm getting there. Uh-huh. I'm yeah. getting yeah. there. Yeah. No, my <laughs> grandma would, would, would hang up the phone. You'd be in mid oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. it. You couldn't be, you couldn't watch, Mm-mm. turn the TV off, get off the telephone. Right. All of that. Yeah. The the tub, whatever. You oh. just had to sit oh. still. Yeah. Sit still. How about this one right here? Uh, mom's mm-hmm. making a cake, but that bowl, you take that bowl of that cake boy. batter yeah. and mm-hmm. boy and lick it. <laughs> get you a spoon. Man. That was delicious. That <laughs> was okay, delicious. Okay, okay, okay. How about you just take a cup? And mm-hmm. open up that deep freezer and scrape the side wall of that deep freezer oh and get that soft God. ice out of there. Make a snow cone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Man. <laughs> but, but sometimes the ice wasn't good. Yeah, my, yeah. my, my grandma said it got, it got <laughs> chemicals in it. Boy, I don't hey, eat that. Carla, once you put Kool-Aid on it, you can't even taste that. <laughs> right. It would taste like seasoned chicken. Like right. that. <laughs> Carla, Carla you getting too technical with it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, another fun thing you used to like to do in the summer? Mm. I had to go watch the girls do hopscotch. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah, I'm yeah. right down there. Yeah. I love yeah. don't, don't miss that five. <laughs> Keisha, don't miss your five. I loved hopscotch and double dutch. Yeah. yeah. I like hide and go seek, and then when it got right at dark, mm-hmm. hide and go get it. Hide and go get it. <laughs> Ooh, when, but when you find the wrong one, though, that you ain't even light. Oh, oh, I'm in here with oh. Bernadette. <laughs> <laughs> but you had to be in before the streetlights came well, on, you, right? You know how to time it. Yeah. Let me tell you, and here, go the, here, go the, here go the trickery with the streetlight. When you hit... <laughs> yeah, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, Tommy. Do it again. Yeah, it's warming up. It's warming up. You your ass home. You better get home. You mess around and hear that home, your ass been out too long. Oh, my God. The light is on. Uh, the millennials, our kids today, know nothing they don't know of nothing. that. Yeah, How you, they when the last nothing. time you seen a good Marvel game? What? <laughs> what? 
Boy, I ain't seen a good Marvel game in a while. That big bowl. You don't thought Rainbow? We, we played a game called throwing rocks at one another. Yeah. <laughs> what? Kids can't do that. All right, guys. Coming up, more music, more fun on the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Uh, we'll be back at 20 minutes after the hour, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hallie of Chloe and Hallie won the role of the Little Mermaid. Uh, she's going to play Ariel in the new yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, congratulations. The action, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, not the movie, live. but the live action. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So, adaptation. Right, yeah. so congratulations to Hallie. Uh, but it doesn't come without some negativity, I'm afraid, this news, because people What's are upset. What's negative about that? People are upset that Hallie got it, because Hallie is a person of color. She's a black girl. And so people are upset because they're saying the mermaid isn't black. Hold on. How Mermaids do you know? don't exist. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you're telling us that ain't no black mermaid <laughs> okay. nowhere in the ocean? That's where, that's where I am with the white junior. Mermaid. Yeah. I'm with you, dude. If you spend that much time in the water, yeah. you got to darken up. Okay. I mean, come on. <laughs> and, then, oh, and then when you come out and you get in that sun, Jay, that's come black. On. you get nice yeah. and toasty. So, ain't come no on, black nice. man, mermaid's <laughs> name Ariel nowhere. Right. right, Junior. Oh, my God. They, uh, they, well, you're going to yeah. be more upset yeah. when you find out Jesus black, too. <laughs> <laughs> are yeah. any other mermaids upset? Oh, are the mer- <laughs> Any mermaids upset? <laughs> Any yeah. mermaids trip time, they're not representing us right. I know. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it's well, one thing about Mermaids it, matter. Mer- mermaid on. lives yeah. matter. Well, what about this? One Black thing about mermaid, mermaid lives matter. <laughs> the mermaids damn sure won't march. That's for damn sure. <laughs> We're going to swim on this, though. <laughs> I know a black Shirley and I know a white Shirley. I can't believe it ain't no black Ariel nowhere in the water. I know a black Shirley. I ain't never met a white, white Keisha. Keisha. Thank you. Thank you. That's you know how this goes. Keisha? I ain't never met a white Keisha. They got one. Trust me. All right, we got to get out of here. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, so. Stevie Wonder, whom we love and adore. Prayer's gone. Um, yes, definitely. Yeah. Stevie Wonder says he, he has announced that he will undergo a kidney transplant coming this September. Coming up in September, he made the announcement Saturday night while performing at the uh, BST Festival in London's Hyde Park. Uh, take a listen to this. So what's going to happen is this. I'm going to have surgery. Oh, you want to have surgery? I'm going to have a kidney transplant in September of this year. I'm all good, I'm all good, I'm all good. I have a donor, it's all good. I want you to know, I came here to give you my love and to thank you for your love. You ain't got to hear no rumors about nothing. I told you what's up. I'm good. All right? All right, Steve. Oh, Steve. 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 Good Steve. Steve. All right, yeah. yeah. It's a great way to take an approach to it. You just tell people, let them know from you, yeah. then you don't hear from other people. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. And then his attitude, Jay, yeah, is, got a is good positive spirit. like yours. Got to have a good spirit, yeah. a good attitude about whatever it is you're going through. Yeah. Stevie went on to say that he will only do three more shows before taking a break. So I'm sure, yeah. you know, he needs to probably take a break and maybe, I don't know, yeah. prepare. Or, you know, if you've never yeah, seen a Stevie yeah, Wonder show, definitely. it is a must. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Man, it's yes. unbelievable, man. Legend. Yes. yes. No, yeah. Stop. Yeah. yeah. True yeah. legend. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, in other entertainment news, uh, we'll keep you posted, of course, on Stevie Wonder as we uh, get the news ourselves and other entertainment news and sad news out of Hollywood. Boy, I saw this young Disney star, Cameron Boyce, has passed away. Uh, yeah. He died Ooh. unexpectedly at the age of just 20, 20 years, years old. old. Wow. 20. He died in his sleep on Saturday at his Los Angeles home. What's the call? After suffering a seizure uh, stemming from an undisclosed illness, he is survived by his parents and a sister. Now, this is according to E! News. A slew of celebrities are paying tribute to Cameron on social media. His co-stars from the Disney show Jesse included uh, Sky Jackson, Yara Shahidi, Mm -hmm. and uh, Adam Sandler. Um, Cameron played his son in the movie Grown Ups. 
and and um, our oh, beloved oh. Wendy Raquel Robinson. Remember? Yeah, now, yeah. I, do, I know exactly. What yeah, you're uh, Wendy Raquel Robinson. Um, Cameron played her son in the Disney uh, Descendants movie. Yeah. So yes, I mean, yeah. so sad though. Just twenty years old. Years old. Wow. Yeah. Just getting yeah. started, I mean, man. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. getting started. People are just talking yeah. about how talented he was and what a great person he was. And our condolences uh, go out to his family and his the loved ones, family. of course. Yeah. 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 All right. Coming up, we'll close out the show with our last break of the day. Right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, here we are, guys. Last break of the day. Um, our first oh, wave. We had a good day today, yo. Yeah, it was oh, a good, it was good day. day what a day. day. What a day. Yeah, yeah. After a few oh, days All right, off. class, what, what did you learn today? What did you learn? Uh, sometimes you got to have <laughs> booty duty. I yeah. learned that in the oh, strawberry on. letter. You, you did you learn that. that. You know what I'm saying? I've learned, That's important. I've learned an incredible 15-year-old tennis player is doing the doggone thing. Absolutely. I yeah. have learned yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else? She's playing at 10 o'clock Eastern, coming up in just a few minutes today. Okay. okay. Let's catch that. Uh, Junior, what'd you learn? What'd well, you learn? I learned, you learned that uh, there's no black mermaids named Ariel. I <laughs> figured that out today. That, but there is one big... named Chloe. Yeah. Gonna, yes. Yes. Hallie that's going to be uh, Ariel. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I learned uh, that. Shirley Strawberry, what did you learn today? Well, you know what? I just learned that we have an awesome U.S. Women's National Soccer oh, Team. Yeah, we do. I love it, Shirley. And, and I, I've learned that they are not going to the blanking White House. Yes, they I know that. They, and, and they, they said it long before they won. They yeah, they did. They and, did. And, and Jay, we've also uh-huh. learned that mm-hmm. Los Angeles has two basketball teams now. That's funny. <laughs> funny, funny. Well, that's what yeah. I learned. That's yeah. what yeah. I was going to say. I Carl learned. Brewer, what did you learn today? Kevin Durant got a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> but no brushes. <laughs> no brushes. <laughs> Okay. And I'm, what did I'm you learn, you. Jay? I'm going to tell you guys what I learned. You know, uh, being sick and dealing with leukemia on, on a daily basis and after hearing the Stevie Wonder story about how he just said, I'm going to just go out and tell people what it is I'm, I have and how I'm going to deal with it. It's His basically, I think, yeah. it's, it's yeah. just keeping it real and saying, you know, I'm going to put it out there before it comes out there with somebody else and twisting the story. And uh, and he has a positive attitude. And I say this all the time, man, when you're going through something like this or pretty much anything, man, I think I'm blessed to be a comedian and to be surrounded by comics, man, so I can keep that positive attitude. Because the minute I start to get down, I might be replaced. So I have to keep a good attitude about you it. And that's not. the best way to deal with it. That's the best way to <laughs> deal with it. Not get replaced, it, buddy. Yeah. And well, yeah, anyway, yeah. I mean, it's all it's about keeping a good attitude. And so, but you yeah. know what? Uh, um, cancer patients, I have found mm-hmm. that they're, even though they're going through cancer, they yeah. are, they can be petty. They can really be petty. <laughs> what, what do you awesome. mean, Jay? Oh, I'm talking about people who have cancer can say some of the meanest things. So I'm in the room. I'm getting my, I'm, I'm dripping up. That's what we call it. Yeah. I'm getting my, I'm dripping what? up, right? I'm getting my got drips. Drip. Y'all got language, huh? I got that drip for sale. I got <laughs> drip for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Junior. Okay. Say, say what, Junior? What'd you say? I got drip for sale. I got, I got my got... drips. Yeah. It would, you learn a lot of things when you're getting chemo, man. I learned how to ride on, on, the, uh, on the little thing where they keep your medicine and go down the hall real fast. I learned how to do that i didn't know how to do that at first so i'm sitting in the room and I'm getting my chemo i'm dripping up right and this lady she's on the phone and she's just cussing like damn your thoughts and prayers i don't need no thoughts and prayers the hell with that i don't need no thoughts and prayers keep your thoughts and prayers you can go to hell and i'm like can i get another room please yeah. I, don't need- <laughs> I, I don't want to drip like that <laughs> i don't need to be wow. in so I always tell people, man, when you're going through something like that, you got to really surround yourself with positive people. So coming to work, doing a stand up, and you know, and, and it's the best thing that you can possibly do for and, me. What, it works for me. Would you do? Would you and Junior do me a favor? Because I've uh-huh. been, I've been. <laughs> what you got? I've been a. T- I ain't got nothing. Oh, okay. Knock <laughs> <laughs> <Like a wood. laughs> on wood. But I've been. Me. But I've been, you know, uh, uh, charged up by some of our fans. Like, why you be saying things to Junior? And, and Jay about what they going through. I'm making fun of him and making light of it the way you guys are. But yeah. I get chassed up like, hey, why are you going at the boys just going through some things? I'm like, but, hey, but wait on, a minute, Johnny. They they should, boys. Boys. But wait a minute. Yes. They should yeah. hear what we say off the air. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my, that's oh, all my God. That's only what we can have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't see. We don't, I get we don't charged see that. up, man. You know, you see that. Plus, you my boy. Plus, you been in there. Yeah. See, they ain't yeah. been in that room. Yeah. You know, yeah. They, Shirley's been in there. Yeah. Carl's been in there. Jay been in there. They don't understand that. So it's just between yeah. us. 
And it's fun for us because let me tell you, that, it could be worse. Let me tell you, yes. something. It, it can always be it worse. It can Much always worse. be worse. Oh, man. Yes. But yeah. can I say this though, you guys? I mean, you know, you have given me such a better outlook on how to deal with these type situations. Say that. Say you that, know, what you yeah. deal with it with humor mm-hmm. and and great spirits, and you act, you guys actually make us laugh. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it, well, I, because honestly. Um, Jay, when I first heard about your dealing with leukemia, I was so broken up and sad. I mean, crying, everything. I mean, just yeah. devastated. But <laughs> talking to you, he Jay, was laughing. Yeah, you yeah. you know, you made me feel better. Well, and you have so, got to hear some of the comments that comedians give you who uh-huh. just they have no filter. Melanie Camacho said oh, that's and my I girl. quote yeah, I can't so believe you wait till you get 110 to get cancer. That's Melanie Camacho. <laughs> I love me some Melanie. Uh, that's my girl. Steve, that's right. that's my girl. Uh, um, George Wallace said, "It don't don't think because you have cancer, I'm not going to talk about your mama. That's George Wallace. <laughs> and Steve and said something least, crazy. No, no, yeah, I told him. So, what yeah, I told him, Jay, you ain't done nothing for leukemia yet. <laughs> you ain't done nothing for them yet. <laughs> it's it's pretty much the only way you can. It's it's either you're gonna laugh at it or you're gonna cry about it. Now don't get me wrong. There's some days you have. Yeah. You I have, have bad days, and it's like you have bad days. But for the yeah. most part, I gotta deal with it the best way I can, man. And, and, and you know, thank you guys for supporting. Because I, I must admit, I was really nervous about telling everybody about it, and I just figured out that this would be the best way to deal with it is put it out there and let people deal with it the way they wanted to deal with it. That way they wouldn't hear from somebody else. Right. We're in the hospital with Junior. He's consoling us. I'm oh, like, I was in there crying. Yeah. Hard. I was about to side the bed. I'm, like, I'm not leaving. Bro. Oh I swear. my God, I was no good. I know. I was like, Junior, do you need anything? No, Shirley, what? I'm fine. The nurse has me. And it's she, good to have somebody I, like Mr. Steve Harvey because he don't do sick he well don't at, at all. all. Oh. 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 He get off the phone quick. Yeah, oh, he hang up. <laughs> yeah. That's it. yeah. So I, I really applaud you guys for your for your attitude and your positivity yes, and and everything. Yeah. I mean, really, oh, you, you guys have helped. Us really, so thank you. That's 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 what we hey. learned today. Yeah, that's, that's what we, we learned, learned. Today. We learned and, today, and we love you guys. And thank you always for listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 